we'll do some uh, features exploration in this song of Trash Nightingale. You can look first at the segmentation. The yellow curve is the adaptive threshold, and you can see how it goes up and then down again. And the advantage of that is that the threshold is allowing us, by adaptivity, to detect low amplitude sounds. You can see the amplitude in red, and in purple, you can see the smooth amplitude that we are using here. You can see that it's working fairly well across different amplitude ranges. So we'll just use it to explore uh, some features and then others. Let's start by uh, Winner Entropy, a very uh, important feature that is computed uh, to show the width of the power spectrum. I double clicked on it to show you the entire curve even during silences. You can see that when there is no sound it's usually going to be quite high, usually at the level of about uh, minus, um, uh, minus one. Uh, and then as the sound is becoming more tonal it will go much lower usually to something like minus 5 or minus 6 and what is nice when you look at that is how uh, the changes are quite reproducible even without smoothing the curve too much or at all and you can see that sounds that are more tonal even by some will have lower entropy than sounds that are more noisy or have broader power spectrum, for example, more noisy and more tonal and so forth, you can see that it captures it quite well, whereas when the sound becomes very tonal it will go lower. And again, noisy sound, high entropy, broadband, and then narrow band, low entropy. Here you can see very low entropy when the sound is very tonal. This is about five point minus 5.6. And here it's going almost to baseline level when it's the sound is very uh, broadband. So it's a pretty nice feature that shows you know reproducible changes. Um, another feature that may be worth looking here is continuity over time and over frequency. Over frequency. If you look at continuity over a frequency, for example, here. What this feature is showing us is that the contours here are actually very continuous during the frequency, and that's why they go up like that. If we look at continuity over time, because it's not very high here, um, FM is a feature that will detect harmonic stacks too. You can see how it goes down when sounds become very harmonic. It's a noisy feature, but again, it's a very low level calculated feature, and it's a pretty robust detector of events where you have a harmonic stack. And of course if you use this feature to segment you can use it to only uh, build a syllable table only of those harmonic stacks. For example, if we nice say segment by FM and we'll say that we want it to be lower uh, than a certain threshold, say 25 degrees, then you can see immediately that if we now uh, looked at a syllable table created by that segmentation it will capture uh, mostly cases where the uh, harmonic uh, frequency 